Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here, and today I'm going to show you how to change the default app icons on your TouchWiz device. So usually if you want to change the app icons, you'll have to install a third-party launcher, which kind of screws things up, and then uh, every time you press the home button, you have to change from your TouchWiz to whatever other launcher you have. So I'm going to show you guys how to change it on the stock TouchWiz ROM. Uh, for this to work, you'll need to be rooted, so make sure that your Galaxy Note 3 is rooted. We have a guide for that. Uh, once it's rooted and everything, you can go to apps, and uh, the app that we're going to be using is called Wiz Iconizer. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> um, you open it up, and here you have local and online. If you go to online, um, you're supposed to find all the online packs that are all available to download directly from here, but the application is currently in beta, so uh, in future downloads it should work. But for now, you have to tap here, and there's a link that'll send you to... Uh, one of your web browsers and from there you'll have three icon packs to pick from you'll have a uh, KitKat, Transparent, uh, Long Shadow and Bell UI Free. Uh, you should see way more packs coming in really soon. So once you download that it'll come in a zip file and then you'll want to unzip it. Uh, once it's unzipped you head back to Wiz uh, go to local, go to internal storage, go to download, because that's where it usually goes to. Uh, if you guys change that manually, you have to go wherever else you placed it. Uh, here you can see that I have a KitKat transparent folder, and this is what I unzipped, which is a KitKat transparent APK. So make sure you have an APK available. Uh, on that, you hold down on it, and then you press apply there you'll restart device and when we come back you'll see that the icons have been changed okay now we're back and so I'm going to unlock the screen and there you should see that your icons have changed uh, it won't work all across the board uh, especially with smaller applications or unpopular applications and I have a lot of those on here since I test out a lot of them but for the most part the apps that I enjoyed uh, like Twitter uh, exposed Chrome Facebook all of those work and they work neatly and you, and you can package them on your home screen so that you won't have all these and you can hide those elsewhere but if you go through you'll see which ones work and which ones don't all right well that's it thanks guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and check out the full tutorial all right thanks guys